where in that uh, the 115 uh, question numbers are written, uh, you have to uh, fill the answer. Say for example, I have kept here the uh, model question, <coughs> which is the following combination uh, is a pan-genotypic treatment regime for the HCV. So if the answer you feel, the answer is uh, uh, D is the correct answer, so you have to mention it as D. We have few questions, where in that I have not given any options, directly you have to mention the uh, answer of in uh, terms of its uh, whatever the name or the diagnosis, whatever. So please write the uh, uh, your name, the designation, so that uh, at the end, it is easy for us to total um, for our calculus. Hope everyone I have received. Shall we start? So the first question: A 65-year-old male diabetic presenting with history of dysphagia. This is the uh, endoscopy image. The uh, question is. Name the classification system used to describe the endoscopy finding. Hope you are seeing the question. The rules and regulations are, there is no negative marking, one positive for each correct answer. Total you get a 60 second, that is one minute. After that the question changes. So you have to name the classification system used to describe this endoscopic finding. abdominal pain. This is the MRCP image. So depending on the MRCP, what is the probable diagnosis as per MRCP? So here you have to write what is the diagnosis as per MRCP. What can you see in this MRCP picture?
question number five. Which one of the following neurological presentations tend to occur earlier in patients with Wilson's? Option A, scissor. Option B, loss of fine motor control. Option C, rigidity. Option D, dysarthria. Wherever there is ABCD, just mention the uh, option uh, number that is ABCD. Don't write the full. Number six, what is the mechanism of action of vedalizumab? Option A, anti-IL-1223 monoclonal antibody, antibody to P40 subunit of IL-1223. It's a non-selective antibody to alpha-4 beta integrin or antibody to alpha-4 beta-7 integrin. Mechanism of action of vedalizumab, you have to give the option. Question number 7, which one of the following is true regarding tetraglide in patients with the short bowel syndrome? It's a drug which is used in the short bowel syndrome. So it has been approved to be used for up to one year. It's a synthetic analog of GLP-2. Its administration is associated with the decreased plasma sideral levels. Nephropathy is a common side effect of this medication. So you have to select among the given four options the true uh, statement regarding the drug they do this type. Totally we have 15 questions. So we are uh, uh, remaining with the 8 questions. Which one of the following correctly describes the mechanism of action of linaclotide? Again, a drug, its mechanism of action you have to mention. The option A, chloride channel agonist stimulating the intestinal fluid secretion. 5-HT4 agonist stimulating the intestinal motility. Vinylized cyclase agonist stimulating the intestinal fluid secretion. Vinylized cyclase antagonist stimulating the intestinal fluid secretion. Uh, which of the following ulcer is most likely to have the best outcome and the lowest risk of re-bleed? Uh, a 2.5 cm clean based ulcer at the antrum, a 1 cm ulcer in the cardia with a flat pigmented spot, a 1.5 cm clean based ulcer at the fundus, a 0.5 cm ulcer with a pigmented spot at the posterior duodenal bulb. Just now we had a uh, symposium on GLP. Hope this was covered in that. So you have to mention among the different given options which ulcer has the least risk of repeat so that the best outcome.
Which of the following genes is most commonly mutated gene in the gastric cancer? APC, MLH1, RAS, TP53. So this is question number 10. The most common gene that is mutated we find in gastric cancer. A 65 year old man underwent a Billroth 1 gastrectomy 10 years ago for a recurrent gastric ulcer. He was seen in the gastroenterology clinic. Which one of the following deficiencies is he most likely to suffer from? Among the given uh, vitamins and the minerals, uh, which he most going to suffer from the deficiency? That is option A calcium, B folate, C iron, D vitamin B12. I left with the three questions. Uh, question number 13, what is the overall sensitivity of the glutamate dehydrogenase assay that we use for the diagnosis of the Clostridium difficile infection? 80, 85, 91, 96. What is the sensitivity of this modality of assay for the diagnosis of Clostridium difficile infection? I just hope PGs are not discussing and writing the answers. Question number 14, which of the following pancreatic cystic neoplasm has the lowest malignant potential? Option A, branch duct IPMN. Option B, cystic pancreatic endocrine neoplasm. Option C, mucinous cystic neoplasm. Option B, serous cystic. I think this should be the easiest question for the PGs. So we have left with the only one last question. old female patient present with the history of a corrosive ingestion 18 hours before. So this is the endoscopic picture. This is of the esophagus. 
So, what you, what is the Zerger classification of this finding? You have to mention the Zerger classification of this endoscopic finding. I can just help you. This esophagus is showing, uh, this endoscopy image is showing in the esophagus a circumferential deep ulceration. I think this should help you to uh, precisely write the classification. You have to write the classification. Right.